All right, a viewer asks, what happens if my gun's not shooting? Meaning, okay, let's go through a checklist. Okay, if it is cocking, you're working and racking the slide, and it looks like everything's working but nothing's shooting, then it could be a BB jam. Now, I've only suffered one BB jam in any of my pure BB guns, like a 340, meaning it only shoots BBs. And it was a mildly faulty new BB. And so what I'm preaching now instead of disassembly, do I have disassembly videos? Yes, but it's basically so you can see honestly how the parts work. Not necessarily do I believe anymore that it is uh, the best way to repair a gun for a young shooter especially. In my case, a mildly defective new BB, you just push forward on the spring, this return spring here, and basically you push up to about close to an inch and opens up a gap here. I don't need to zoom in on it. An inch here, close into around an inch and opens up a gap back here. And you get in with a, well in this case a co hanger. You can use a regular one. This is, is this one is um, coated with rubber. And so it comes out and you just tap, tap, tap and the bee will shoot out the breech when you open up a gap with your thumb like that. All right, a regular coat hanger will work. Just cut it to size. You know, just make sure that it will pop out that breech there. So, you know, you probably want it about six or seven inches. You can also, again, use a regular coat hanger and cut it six, seven inches. And use a ball, small ball peen hammer if you ha have any resistance, okay? So again, a regular coat hanger will work. Doesn't have to be coated in rubber. This is technically a cleaning rod, actually. When I cleaned out my jam, it was strictly just by hand, just tapping, tap, tap, tap. So again, so everything's working right. You likely have a BB jam. So you just put that in there and I just tap real hard, long strokes until it came out and that was it. Okay, so let's go over other things that can go wrong. Okay, another common thing is that, here, let me see. This one has a red mark on the bottom. This is a signify this magazine's a bum magazine. I actually ordered a few new ones. And so what happened is it just, I put thousands of shots through it and I made the mistake of lubing it. So I would say do not lube that with silicone or anything because what it does, it makes it hard for those prongs here to do their job and hold the BB in place. And so what happens, it gets loose in your gun, okay? It gets, here's a loose mainframe, the bottom half. It gets loose in here and your slide does not work right. And then, well, you're not gonna be able to, it won't cock. And so I would advise people, please don't put lube in here. You think it's cool to lube everything? Not here. The plastic just simply cannot hold that BB in. The force of the spring and the lube forces up into your gun. So this has been discontinued as a magazine for a couple reasons. Um, but the main thing I tell people in other videos is make sure you tighten your screws. Make sure those things are tight. Don't wrench them. But make sure that's tight right there. Don't lube that, please. And uh, yeah, so this one has seen better days. And I have other magazines I use now. So what happens if you get, you made the mistake, let's say, of lubing that, those plastic prongs on your magazine, is the simplest way, as I've shown in other videos or review here, is simply, okay, it's not cocking right, it won't cock right, that is a BB loose in there, so you just eject your magazine and shake it out, and many times it'll just fall out. Sometimes you'll have to slightly gently rack, like that. You're not really cocking a gun, you're not trying to cock a gun, you may accidentally uh, charge that hammer, but that's okay. So yeah, so that, just go through that again. So you're, it won't cock right. So eject your magazine, shake it out. Most of the time, 80% of the time, it just falls out the magazine onto the ground. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. So then hold on to it and just gently, just do a little tiny rack and shake it like that. And I haven't had any problems as far as the BB getting loose in the mainframe right here. Okay, so those are the main culprits for your gun not shooting. And they really... The only time you should take off your slide, as you as I've shown so far, is this. This is a loose slide, is if it's a jammed barrel, and this is the best way of what I showed at the beginning of the video. And also, if that, what I just showed here to clear a loose BB jam in there, for whatever reason, doesn't work, and it's still being stubborn, it won't cock, then you go ahead and, using this loose mainframe, you push your button on that, uh, okay, because this is a slide lock here, okay, and that's a slide release. So you push the button from this side and then go ahead and pull that out and then your slide will come right off. And then many times you just shake out the BB right there. 
but that's the uh, most extreme you want to get as far as disassembly. I haven't had any problems with the other steps I've shown you. So one clears a BB jam, one clears a BB that's loose in between your slide and your mainframe, and it's simply a matter of ejecting that magazine, giving it a place to go. So the third option I showed you is if, if all those other ones fail. Uh, so as far as any jams actually in the feeder here, I haven't had that happen. So I do have another video that, it, you know, you get in there with a the pick and, and lightly clean that out. But I just really have not had that happen. So again, so the main jams, BB jam, and I showed you the preferred way I want people to do it now. A loose jam where it gets loose for your magazine in there in between top and bottom. And then one that's really stubborn where you do have to disconnect, oops, sorry, where you do have to disconnect your slide and it just falls out. Okay, thank you very much and good luck.